All right, guys, so we have some news and some info on the things that are going to be coming to Global Dokkan soon. Now, some of the units that are going to be coming to Global soon, I don't necessarily think this confirms that uh, the supposed leaked versions of Goku and Frieza that are coming soon as part of the 250 million download celebration. I do think there's two scenarios. One, it could be on both versions of the game at the same time, which I feel like would work very well at this point in time for both uh, Global and JP. Or I suppose it's possible that during the 250 million downloads, you know, JP would get the Goku and Frieza cards and then Global could do Evolution Blue Vegeta and Jiren. I'm thinking the shared banners between versions is probably a lot more likely. It, it, I, I just feel like it would work very well here. Uh, especially, like, think about it, like, Global is coming off its three-year anniversary with the whole Namek theme to then move into the Super Saiyan Goku and Frieza stuff uh, would work quite seamlessly uh, for Global. Now, uh, what we're looking at is, of course, the 3.1, 3.1 update is going to be coming very soon to Global. Now, everyone, the big thing about everyone is going to be talking about here, uh, shout outs, by the way, to Seriously. We're going to use some info from DBZ Space, Renzi, and then we're also going to use some info from Kawhi over here. Now, everyone is going to be very excited about this stuff, you know, the LR uh, animations. Okay, here's the double crack screen Oolong. I still have never gotten this, by the way. Uh, I believe the double crack screen, that will be one of two things. Either an LR, if it's a non-Dokkan Fest banner, or uh, a guaranteed Dokkan Fest exclusive card uh, if you are on a Dokkan Fest banner. Uh, so, all the summon animations, it's what people are going to be most excited for. But I'm going to tell y'all, the best part of that update is the friend system update, which allows you to set a unit uh, in like the top right corner of the team screen or anything like that. So you can kind of choose which unit people uh, will see. And then you're also able to filter and sort the friends when you go into a mission. So this completely fixes all of the issues we had with finding friends and things like that. For example, in the recent world tournament, uh, one reason I was able to place so high was because with the friend system update, I had an LR Broly just right there at the top of the list every single time. Boom, boom, boom. I wasted no time, you know, searching and digging through the friends list. I just had an LR Broly ready to go every single time. So, uh, the friend update would be very good. It would make a lot of sense for me for this to come out, like, directly followed by the 250 million downloads, right? So that, like, things are a little bit more synced up between Global uh, and JP. So, very, very exciting stuff about the new uh, summon animations, as well as friend system update, a lot of things like that. Now, Renzi also did leak some stuff here. Uh, he pointed out that he sees some Battlefield 2.0 stuff coming for Global in the near future, which is what I anticipated. I've been saying I kind of expect Battlefield 2.0 like sometime around the beginning of September. Uh, that is a similar time frame to what JP had with Battlefield. People... It's funny how, like, we're far away from the three-year anniversary on JP, and people kind of misremember how things went. People now, like, think, like, they remember that Battlefield 2.0 came out on the three-year anniversary on JP, but that's not what happened. What happened was we got a V-Jump leak during the three-year anniversary, which showed Battlefield 2.0 was coming, and it came, like, a full month after the three-year anniversary was done. Uh, I think it was... It was just before Blue Vegeta and Jiren came out, I believe so, uh, is when Battlefield 2.0, like, first arrived uh, on JP. So that's coming soon, which is very, very good. Also, again, if the 250 million downloads is another sort of, like, Namek-style celebration, it would make a ton of sense for Global to introduce Battlefield 2.0, as well as... Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. As well as this unit right here. Uh, this unit... For whatever reason, because, you know, Global's never gotten Battlefield, I suppose. Uh, this guy has never been released on Global Dokkan. And, again, it would make a ton of sense to drop this guy. Where, yeah, I'm like, where is the Ginyu Force? It would make a ton of sense to drop this guy 
right now. Like during this, you know, kind of uh Namek like style celebration the lr physical ginyu force uh, i do think there is a reasonable chance that he might be slightly buffed because key three and attack 7777 for all allies is really not that great i feel like his leader skill could stay the same super attacks are the same links are the same categories the same multipliers are the same but they pr they could give him a slight buff I don't think that would be unfair to JP or anything like that. It would just make this unit much more relevant uh, in Global's meta, right? I do think it would be a wise decision to give this guy a slight buff. Now, if we head back over here, so we've got Battlefield 2.0. Uh, Renzi, you know, he kind of shows the Battlefield stuff. He also shows that this event is coming soon for Global. This, of course, is Jiren's Dokkan Fest event. Uh, obviously, as you guys know, Jiren, as of right now, uh, does not have his Dokkan Awakening on Global. Uh, he just has his SSR card. So, his Awakening, it did come with Blue Vegeta for uh, JP. I suspect they'll keep it just like that, where Jiren and Blue Vegeta kind of come out at the same time. Uh, and then we have this monster list right here of units. Uh, now, I don't need to zoom in. Okay, so I'll kind of go over where all of these units come from. Uh, LR Beerus is... He comes out tonight, right? Hold on. Let me take a look at this. I, I keep <laughs> I keep going like, oh, LR Beerus came out just now or yesterday or tomorrow or tonight or whatever. Like, hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me see. I, I think LR Beerus is about to drop. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, okay, yeah, Beerus drops in an hour and a half, kind of, a little bit more than an hour and a half, uh, LR Beerus will drop with a double rates banner, uh, I'm telling y'all fuckers, listen, do not summon on that shit, skip that, skip that, skip that, skip that, skip that, because I do think that the Frieza and Goku stuff again will be on both Global and JP, that's gonna be much better to summon on than, you know, chasing LR Beerus on the double rates banner, so, uh, let's go through all these, so, this Goten and Trunks right here, this is with the update, the Super Battle Road, but I do not see uh, the Int LR Goku in here, which is the reward for the Super Battle Road. But this Goten and Trunks, that's what they are. They're opponents in the new Sages of Super Battle Road. Their data has been in the game for years, and they only finally just added card arts to them, but that's what they are. Uh, this is a Battlefield card. This is a World Tournament card. That's a World Tournament card. World Tournament, World Tournament. Uh, this is the farmable Jiren, which comes with his Dokkan Fest event. Uh, Dispo, of course, comes with the Jiren and Vegeta banner. Dispo is a very good unit. Uh, Physical Ribrian is... she's pretty bad. Uh, this is a World Tournament reward. I expect Global will get that for the 23rd, just like JP. Another World Tournament card, another World Tournament card, another World Tournament card. Lord Slug. Uh, Lord Slug dropped with LR Bardock on JP and, of course, the Lord Slug story event. This physical Lord Slug is one of the more underrated cards in the game. He was completely overshadowed by LR Bardock. Everyone immediately forgot about him and immediately gave no fucks about him whatsoever. But the physical Lord Slug is quite good. He is a very good unit. He's just, he got completely overshadowed. And like, you know, he's solid on the movie boss team. Uh, he's the best unit on the giant team which is about to get this monster uh, buff on Global, or, excuse me, on JP, uh, with their upcoming app update. So we'll see, right? Uh, this Kaioken Goku is a farmable one. So all Kaioken Goku cards are now farmable, outside of the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, of course. Uh, he's an okay unit. He's a free-to-play pure Saiyan leader, by the way, too. Uh, we have this Gohan, a kid Gohan, who is a free-to-play hybrid Saiyan leader, which is good. Uh, LR Beerus, of course, who is dropping tonight on Global. Uh, we have, this is the Spirit Bomb Goku who is already out on Global. Uh, we have this Whis who comes out tonight on Global. The Dokkan Awakening for the SR Whis. Uh, this is the Dokkan Awakening for the Tech Android 17. Uh, he's fodder, especially with the Dokkan Fest 17. Uh, of course, this is, uh, it seems to me like everyone on Global can't wait for this Blue Vegeta. He's an amazing unit. He has an amazing category. The biggest category in the game, Pure Saiyans, the most, like, free-to-play friendly category in the game, of course. And all these fucking hype units are gonna be on there. You know, like, basically anything from the new Broly movie is gonna be on this fucking category. All of Broly's forms are gonna be on there. Anything Goku and Vegeta do is gonna be on there, except for the fusions. They did keep Gogeta cards and Vegito cards off there, 
But, like, people say, oh, it doesn't make any sense. But it's just like, yo, if they had put Vegito and Gogeta cards on there, it would just be the same fucking thing as the Future team, the Patara team. Like, we just use all Vegito and Gogeta cards again. So, I don't really have a problem with them leaving Vegito and Gogeta off there. But let's just say Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta is how they beat Broly in the movie, right? He obviously would not be on the pure Saiyan category. But a lot of the movie stuff will be there. Uh, this is the Awakening for the Tech Android 18. She is an absolute behemoth. Uh, she's right up there for best peppy gal uh, unit in the game. I would say Kefla is probably one. And then I think this 18 is two. I think she's better than Khalifa. And then Khalifa probably comes in like third for best peppy gal units in the game. This Tech 18 is an absolute monster. God of Destruction and Topo is a monster. This is a free-to-play 17 who comes with a turn of power event with Blue Vegeta and Jiren. Uh, so any 17 is farmable in the game outside of future 17. And then, of course, remember Hellfighter 17 uh, also does have a different name. Uh, we have the free-to-play 18 over here. So all 18 cards become uh, farmable as well. This is the Awakening for Dispo. Very good card. Awakening for Jiren. Amazing card. Ribriant. Very underwhelming. Uh, this, of course, is LR Bardock, LR Bardock, LR Bardock, and then Super Saiyan 2 Goku, a Battlefield card. Now, I guess one thing that is kind of disappointing is we don't see the LR Ginyu Force on there, but they have been fucking sitting in here forever. Yeah, there they are right there. We also don't see LR Tian and Chaozu, uh, but I, like, I promise y'all, LR Tian and Chaozu, they're gonna be coming, uh, with the next World Tournament on Global, along with Forearm Tien here. Uh, that's another fighter from that tournament, as well as Pam put here. Uh, let's see. Uh, no info on the heroes cards. This shouts who comes with the next tournament. Uh, that's a hero card, hero card, hero card, hero card. Uh, this is just a random first form freeze that was never released on Global. Some more hero cards. I don't know. I would presume this Yamcha right here, the Awakening for the Baseball Yamcha, as well as the uh, Awakenings for these free-to-play Arale cards, I would think that they're coming to Global eventually, but no info there yet. And then, this is another weird one. I don't know why Global didn't get this. This guy is not a Heroes card. He was actually a login bonus uh, with, a, with the Dragon Ball Fusion stuff, but that came to Global. So it's very odd that this card was never released on Global. But there we go, guys. There's all the info on the updates coming to Global. Again, I, I would say this doesn't really impact the potential leaks of the LR Goku and Frieza or the dual Dokkan Fest of Goku and Frieza stuff that was, you know, leaked by Kawhi as part of the 250 million downloads. Um, it's possible, again, that for the 250 million downloads, Global could have the Jiren and Blue Vegeta banner instead of the Goku and Frieza stuff, but I do think there's a very good chance that it comes to both versions at the same time. Uh, and I, I guess... Unless it's, like, really the start of a new meta, but I don't, I don't think it, it would be, because, like, we could easily think, what would Goku and Frieza's leader skill be? The dual Dokkan Fest one. Goku, Planet Namek category, boom, easy, fill that in. Frieza, Frieza race category, boom, easy, fill that in. Like, th those are very easy, like, things to guess, right? So, it's not like, like, with 17, we were kind of wondering, like, hmm, what, what category could they give him besides, like, Android? And, like, we got all mixed up with the Android 21 stuff. But here, I, I do think we're kind of, you know, sure of what's to come. Now, also, before I finish the video, I do want to mention, V-Jump leaks should be tonight. So, at some point in a few hours, maybe even immediately after this video, we might get the V-Jump leaks. Uh, and we probably, I'm expecting... We will get confirmation of the 250 million download celebration. Uh, I don't think we'll be shown the Goku and Frieza stuff, but I bet the LR Great Saiyan 1 and 2 will be shown in V-Jump. That's my prediction. It'll say the 250 million downloads is coming, and it will show LR Great Saiyan 1 and 2. But, alright guys, thanks for watching. Good shit coming for Global soon, and I'll catch y'all next time.